Ladies and gentlemen, this is part of the Dildo Burger Prophecies. However, this part has to do with Caterpillar Hydraulics O-Ring Replacements. And the reason that on, on the stems that are connected to the control levers that actuate the hydraulics in the valve systems for the pistons that actually do the service work for the machine itself. These are small actuators. In fact, they are called, well, it's almost like an exciter, where this is what, when the lever moves through the machine, there's a series of seats here that O-rings go on. And when you push the valve, this, one of these O-rings pushes fluid to the master hydraulic pump that sets the machine governor to go faster so that the fluid flows at a higher pressure and higher volume. And today's dissertation is going to be how to get the O-rings from one seat to the next without damaging the O-rings. But before I say that, if you have a machine that has a lever that is not actuating and you have to push the lever in two directions or push two levers to make the system function properly, the reason for that is because one of these two O-rings in either here or here on the seat are either ripped or missing altogether and that can happen. And what happens is two systems need to be pushing fluid towards the to excite the motor so to speak. Either way it, it's a it's a pressure thing. But today's dissertation is how to move the O-rings. And as you can see, I'm at a disadvantage again, ladies and gentlemen. Look at what I have to work next to all day. I have to look at the water I have to go in the water, and then I have to get out of the water and go back to work. This is, okay, and every once in a while I have to go change the music because a man needs music. In any event, this is the, this is where we're working. This is the book. This is the actuator here, and these are the O-rings. This O-ring goes on the bottom, 28 is on the bottom, 27 is on this third seat, 26 is on the first seat, and the middle seat is just a fluid passage. These, although they didn't have to be numbered, they are numbered, one through seven. Now let's put this down here. Well, okay. Now this one would be, this is number five. Now, to get this from the first, you, you pull, you have, first of all, you have to have a tool like this. It helps to have a 180 degree tool. And you pull that down and you rotate it at the same time. And when you're rotating it, it should move down to the next seat. Now you can do it with a lot of other things. You could do it with toothpicks, or you could do it with almost a straight pick like this, or you could do it with a screwdriver, but these, this has a sharp edge on it and it might damage the O-ring. However, I like dental tools. Also, this, this to remove O-rings and to clean the seats, there's nothing better than a good set of dental tools, including the drills. Be and, it, and that's if you can get them. Usually the dentist will give you his old tools or sell them if they aren't to his satisfaction or he just bought a new set. So once again, you take this, put the O-ring on the first seat by hand. And then you pull it down at a 45 or whatever angle is necessary. And you can roll it with your fingers also to the next one. Some of them are a little bit harder than others. You could stretch them pretty good. 
and that's and just roll it around. Now this one was a little bit more difficult than the other ones. Some of the O-rings, I got them from two different. They're two different colors, so it leads me to believe that when they packed them, they came in two different boxes, and they might be two different ages. So you get that tool in there like that, and you roll it around. So anyway, this is an exciter. And when you push the plunger in, it excites the motor to get more pressure. See how this one's harder to do. But it goes, and if you have the right tools, like this particular tool, and it doesn't have any sharp or abrasive edges on it, which this one does, but it's on the outside right here, you shouldn't have much of a problem getting them on. And then the last one, which is number 2361, is just gonna go on the outside here. And you're done. Just pops on like this, just pops on and you're done. Okay, so at that point, 